What's going on guys? Welcome back to a brand new Clash Royale video. Today I'm going to be sharing some top tips to help you win some draft battles inside the new party mode. So before we go further ahead I'm going to watch a replay and talk through my thought process. So Fireball has a lot more versatility over arrows as a knockback effect on the balloon so that's why I chose that. Giant is just so strong. Goblin Giant only works in like certain decks so I'm definitely going to take Giant. And he's got arrows so I'll take Goblin Gang because I could potentially bait it out if I get something else which I do. And then I'll take Balloon which can help support my Giant because the Giant will act as a good tank. So I've got a fairly solid um, 4 cards there. And I've also got a minion hard, which so I can bait out his arrows with my goblin gang, and I can use minions defensively, which you'll see. So, second tip is never make the first play. Always let your opponent make it. So he goes RG there and spear goblins, and then he plays his arrows on my goblin gang, and he doesn't have a defense. And I've got my Valkyrie, and now look, he's got no elixir to defend this. So, there we go. Take the tower. As easy as that. So now because I know that I'm up one, I'm up elixir but I am only up one elixir, I do start out in the back with a giant and I change lanes to try to force him to change lanes as well. Because the tower, the lane that I'm going to be pushing, my towers have got the most health. So if he defends that lane, most likely he's going to counter push that lane. But he doesn't. So let's see. So there we go, we place this wizard really far back as well so it's not the best player thankfully because you want to be playing your support units fairly close to your tanks which means I can just fireball and uh, bar barrel this fireball just in time there as well so there we go once again his arrows are out of cycle so choosing the uh, fireball over the arrows really worked out well in this match but he does have snowball as well so just going to use my giant to tank there we go Good little counter push and also protecting towers there. So that's a good start to the match. I'm going to go into double speed. So he just rushes that lane. I play Valkyrie and Goblin Gang. There we go. So defense there. So I defended what? 8 elixir with 7 elixir, I think. There we go. So going to be able to 3 crown. This guy's giving up now. As you can see, he's just leaking elixir. So I just go in, 3 crown this opponent. There we go. So let's jump into some more live matches to see my thought process on choosing cards. Here we are inside our first live battle. So first choice is two win conditions. I'm going to take Ram Rider, definitely. And then I'm going to take the Ice Golem because he can kite units like the Pekka. But I'm going to take Pekka because Pekka uh, bridge spam is fairly popular. That's looking like a solid deck. And I've also got arrows for his win condition, which is a Goblin Barrel. So fairly happy with this. Let's give this guy some good luck and see how we do. I've also got RG Pekka, that's a very strong deck. See, it'll run a lot inside um, inside the collection war day battles. Sorry, so a bit of BM from this guy early on. So I took Pekka as well, which is good. So he's just played that on that lane. So I'm just going to support opposite lane, pressure opposite lane. Sorry. Okay, I wasn't expecting a Tesla. Okay, so he used lightning on that, and he didn't need to because it had gone down. So I'm just going to go with RG in the back. Gonna play fire spirits. Try to keep my arrows just in case I need them. I don't want him to know that I've got them just yet. Probably support this with my ice wizard and then have my arrows ready. Okay, so he's got prince. So I'm gonna play ice golem just to try to get a few extra hits. Play my wizard, that'll take out the skeletons. Okay, so he did well there, dip cycling back. Double elixir is the time that I'll be able to uh, take this guy out. So that slow effect there didn't allow the prince to charge, and my ice wizard survived. Nice. So let's see again. While the tower is nice and slowed, just going to ignore that miner. Okay, so he keeps lightning that. Okay, I'm not going to complain though. I'm going to go probably RG in the back again. No, I'm going to go fire spirits because then he'll go with his goblin gang, goblin barrel. Sorry. Play this here. Come on, play it. Where's your barrel? Okay, okay. So now that survives again. I'm going to go Royal Giant. And then I'm going to play Bad Barrel over here because he's got his Tesla. Nice. But 
Okay, well played to him there though, he did well. I'm gonna go Pekka here. Try to build up a bit of a stronger push. Again, I've just got my arrows for this. Fire Spirits and then Ice Wizard. And I'm just gonna Bow Barrel here. Nice. Oh, and the Barbarian tanks the damage for the Prince, which is super good. Place that really far over. So I'm just gonna start out with a Royal Giant in the back again. Try to get a Pekka down in front of this. I am back to arrows, thankfully. Nice. The arrows definitely helped there, so you can see you've got to base your spell selection on the opponent's win conditions. Let's go you here. Let's play this up here. Nice. Okay, so it does lightning. Very aggressive move. I'm going to play this, and then I'm going to play Fire Spirits, hopefully. Okay. Now, decided to go Ice Golem last second. So he's back to that, so I can just arrow again. Nice, that takes that out. Okay. So it's figured out his defense. Execution of Prince is a very strong defense, so. Well played on his behalf. Gonna have to use Royal Giant as a tank. Got Ram Rider, that'll slow this down. Force out his Tesla. Nice. Okay, so he's slowly winning with that Earthquake. Thinking he's two more Earthquakes to win. So I'm going to go Pekka. Then I'm going to go Royal Giant. Nice Pekka there. That was, that was super good for us. Could have just won us a match there. Nice. Want Royal Giant to tank for this Pekka, I think. I think that's going to be the right decision to make. Now that Tesla's down, I can go Ram Rider. He is going to Lightning. But there we go, GG's, well played. This guy played very aggressive, and that's what you do not want to do in draft. You need to play passively until you know what your opponent is playing. Back inside the second match. So here we are. So now Night Witch only really works well in Golem decks and Beatdown decks, but Electro Dragon super strong defensively, so I'm definitely going to take that. I'm also going to take Ice Golem again, purely because of the kiting ability. And I don't want him to give him a tank, heavy tank with his Night Witch. Ooh, Wall Breakers. Do I have a good defense for Wall Breakers? I don't. So I am going to take the Wall Breakers, purely because they're so annoying to deal with. Unless you know you've got a good counter, like Log or something like that. So, the Bomber, okay. So, again, just going to wait for the opponent to make the first move. I've got Lightning for his Night Witch as well. So we place that. So I might go bats in the back. Then I can make the ghosts come visible with my Ice Golem. Like so. There we go. I'm just going to play my own Giant in the back. Uh, distract this. I've got Lightning up there as well. If needed. If he gives me value, I will take it. I'm just going to play my Bomber. If he gives me any value, I am going to take it. Okay, there we go. Got to wait patiently and lightning now. Got one hit maybe? Yes. So I'm going to play this. Play as Golem. Okay, that misses, unfortunately. But the e -wiz turns around. Electro Dragon turns around, sorry. So Let's see. Thankfully that stays out of tower range. So I'm back to giant again. Might just bat this and then I can fire spirits on the magic archer. It's all about making positive elixir trades. So I'll go giant in the back. So there's that. Need to wait for this to lock on and then I can go fire spirits, look at all that trade. Nice. Okay, that might be tower down actually, maybe that wasn't nice. Okay, not quite tower down, but okay, it is now. So I can go E drag, six seconds to double elixir. There we go. Nice, that Night Wish is going to get destroyed. Now I'm going to go Wall Breakers, because I think I can get through. Nice. We do. Nice, that's tower down. So we're even. So I'm going to go opposite lane. I think I've got a fairly good uh, elixir advantage. 
Let's go Giant. Let's try to re-execute that solid push again. That Magic Archer isn't going to do anything for him, so... I'm going to play my Ice Golem. There's his Poison, so I can play my E-Drag up here. I can play my Bats now he's played that. I'm just going to Lighten him just to get rid of all of that. Oh, okay, I should have waited, should have waited. Cool, let's just go down though. Try to get Giant down in time. Okay, we don't. Okay, okay. Giant's gonna get one hit. Nice. So get any poisons, which means I can play my bats further up. I'm just gonna get wall breaker and giant in the middle. Please connect, we do, nice. Again, I can go with my Ice Golem, nice and time as well. Play my Bomber over here, or oh, I just play my Bats into the range of that Magic Archer, but oh well. I can play my Giant, get my Fire Spirits down. Cool. Should get a good connection here. Do, and that's GG's, well played. Just need a Lightning, hopefully it doesn't catch it. it doesn't. Awesome. Back inside the third battle. So, once again, definitely going to choose Giant over Goblin Giant. Lava Hound on Knight. Okay. Lava Hound I'm going to take, but I'm going to save it. And I'm also going to take Executioner, because I don't want them to have a counter. Uh, Rocket or Snowball. Uh, I've got a fairly heavy deck as it is, so I'm going to take Snowball. Okay. So, well, he can Rocket my Executioner. Okay, so let's see how we go here. One of the new matchmaking systems mean as well that you're uh, paired based on your trophies, which is super good. So I'm just going to play my Bomb Tower here. That'll help counter the Witch. So to summarise, overall as well, you need to play passively, never make the first move, and always try to choose the strongest decks that you can. That'll really help you win, obviously, the strongest cards. You don't want to be choosing cards which are good in certain circumstances. Should have played a uh, knight giant there, not lab hound. But I've got gas for this, so he does have rocket. It doesn't have a small spell, I don't believe. Gonna play my executioner. Deck might get one hit. We'll see. He does. Okay, I'm fairly happy with that. Execution is going to take them out. Unfortunately, the execution's range is super small. Okay, nice. So I'm going to get a fair bit of damage there. Got more than a Pekka swung, so that was totally worth it. So what do we want to do? Might go Dark Prince just now, just to stop that connecting. Nice. Fortunately, Dark Prince doesn't one-shot the Princess, so... So I can play Bomb Tower again. And then I might go Giant. And then Lava Hound. Let's see. So the opponent does actually have Pekka. So I'm going to save my Giant to kite that Pekka. There we go. Okay, now I'll just go Guard. Okay, okay. Again. Trying to get some decent uh, things down. I'm going to snowball this to help break it off. Go Ice Wizard. That'll help take out the minions. Nice. We rockets. Okay. Crazy rocket. But that's going to be towered down. So again, just going to change lanes now. See if we need to. Might give up. Made two opponents rage quit. Looks like he has given up. So I can go Dark Prince. Play giant in the pocket. The fact I want the hand to die first. So. There we go. So we'll play giant in the pocket now. Then we'll play executioner. Nice GG's. Well played. Make an opponent's rage quit with my draft. Tips. Three crown incoming. Let's give a BM snowball. Let's give him a kiss. Let's flex the emote. GG's. Well played. 
So that is going to do it for today's video guys. Thanks very much. If you'd like to see more tips in the future, please like and subscribe and turn on the notifications so you never miss a video. Till next time, peace.